What's up everybody, I'm MGS Cobra and today I want to talk to you about video compression and more specifically a program called Handbrake. It's a free to use program which I'll link in the description. A while back I've done a video on my rendering and compression settings and I've found much better settings now so that's what I wanted to show you today. Just um, here at the minute I've got um, a video that I've been working on recently. Um, let's just finish rendering. See, it's been taking a while while to render using Sony Vegas. So, as you can probably tell, it's going to be quite a, a hefty file size. So, it'll be done very shortly. Another 10 seconds or so. We've been going 43 minutes already. So, that's only what, three lines wide. Of course, to use Handbrake, you can use um, any rendering thing. That makes no difference whatsoever. I just that happened that I use. Um, Sony Vegas Platinum 11. So, right, that's done. Let's quickly open the folder up and see what the file size is like. Yes, here we are. Star Forge Band at 1.78 gigabyte. Now, um, I certainly know on my internet and a lot of other people's that's, that's going to take a hell of a long time to upload. I'll just quickly close this. And what I'm going to do is open up Handbrake. Now I'm not going to show you how to install it and all that sort of stuff. I'll leave a link in the description for how to get it, but I mean, you guys must know how to install programs, right? Yeah. If not, I've, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of other videos that can help. Now when you open up, you'll get this screen here. What you want to do is click Source and Open File. I'll take you to the last folder you use, so I'll just quickly switch to the folder where my video is. Um, here it goes. Star Forge Bandit, open that up. Now, to, basically, all you got to do is copy, what well, I pause the video and just copy my settings. But what, basically, what you got to do is change this one here to strict, and that'll give you the exact portion that is rendered in. So, in my case, 1920 by 1080. I've, I've set this as a, as a preset thing, but um, basically, everything is off on there. This one here, you have H264, peak 29.97, constant. Uh, quality of 29 and put that on faster drop the 264 profile to high and a level of 4.1 and make sure you just copy these exactly and you should be good to go of course video whenever you need to and to cut make note of stuff make sure you click web optimize that's important you can just um, add a, pro a preset as well so you can save it so you don't have to do it all over again now just find the file where you want to save it to, like I've just done, and click start. Um, so you can like show Q and that's basically uh, add multiple things onto it, so you do one after the other. And when it's done, you can choose to type the shutdown of PC or quit and break or whatever. And um, give you a brief, brief overview if you just hold your mouse over it. And it's getting very late, so I'm going to cut this here and. I leave it to shut down overnight and I'll see what the results are tomorrow. Oh, right, I'm back. Following day. So let's quickly open up and see how big this file actually is. There we go. 217 megabyte. Yeah, that's a lot better than 1.78 gigabyte. Isn't it? Massive reduction. That's just, just as a. Let's prove it. Go back to the original file. 1.78. If we have a look at the, just compare the video quality of the boat. I'll just quickly skip for it. Yeah, that's what it looked like in its original one, almost two gigabyte file format. Now we switch over to the compressed version. Which bear in mind, it's only just over 200 megabyte. Skip through, of course, I won't get exactly the same spots, but you can see there's very little loss in quality whatsoever. These are dark scenes, so you probably will notice a little bit, but um, in most occasions. It's certainly much more manageable. Yeah. 
So there you have it guys, a massive um, jump in file size but very very little drop in quality if any. I mean depending on how dark your video is, but to be honest but I think you probably get away with it even if it was entirely night time. I hope you found this useful and interesting. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.